Batman Arkham Knight, if you travel along the outskirts of Panessa Studios, you can find this small open room at the very back right next to the docks. Now, unlike literally every other place in the game, this room has seemingly no purpose. No Riddler trophies, no Easter eggs, no nothing. So why did Rocksteady take the time to develop an entire interior that didn't end up being used for anything? Well, some suspect that it was for cut content, others say it might have been a dev room, but I have a couple ideas of my own. So here's two theories that could explain the mystery behind this secret room. Theory number one, Victor Zaz. By this point, I think most players know that Zaz was supposed to have a side mission in Arkham Knight before it got scrapped. And if you don't know, well, now you do. His unused character profile, as well as his cut dialogue, are all proof of that. Ever held a razor to your wrist, Batman? Allow me the pleasure. So I have a theory that this room in Panessa Studios was going to be a location for Zaz's side mission before it ended up getting cut. Here's why. When Batman is looking over the clock tower's camera feed in search of where Barbara was taken, you can actually see Zaz walk by one of the cameras. So we know for a fact that Zaz is on Bleak Island, but wait, it gets better because if you take a look at the direction Zaz is walking, his path actually leads directly to the movie studios. Thanks to Zaz's riddle, we can confirm that Zaz was planning on lying low while Batman dealt with Scarecrow in a back room in an abandoned area is a great place to do just that. I think that this room was originally meant to be Zaz's main hideout, where Batman would have to track him down, similar to Arkham City, until he found Zaz's location. Once he found him, this back door would have actually opened instead of being closed off, revealing the theater room where Zaz's final boss fight would have taken place. After defeating him, Batman would have obviously brought Zaz to the GCPD using the Batmobile. Now take a look at this. Some of Zaz's cut dialogue was meant to be used for this Batmobile ride, similar to how all the other characters you bring in have a conversation with Batman on their ride to GCPD as well. Zaz's cut dialogue for this ride is exactly 36 seconds long, and what do you know, the time it takes to get from Panessa Studios to the GCPD is also 36 seconds long. Now I don't think that's a coincidence. Just to add on one more thing, the fact that Zaz's side mission was seemingly cut pretty late into production aligns really well with this theory, because this unused room must have also been cut pretty far into production considering that the devs had already built an entire detailed interior. There's even more to be said about this, but I'm gonna save some of that for my next video where I'll be breaking down Zaz's entire side mission in Arkham Knight, piecing together how it was supposed to play out before it got cut. So stick around. Theory number two, Clayface. We all know what happened to Clayface at the end of Arkham City. He gets buried underground and left inside the Lazarus. Now, we don't have any real proof of what might have happened to him after this though, leaving Clayface's conclusion to nothing but speculation. Keep that in mind while we head back over to the hidden room for a little bit. Again, there's not much here to find, or that's at least what I thought before doing a little bit of analyzing. You see, the large door at the entrance actually appears to have a lot of damage done to it, and there's even shards of wood lying on the ground right next to a no trespassing sign. This means the door wasn't just opened someone broke in. Now if you head to the very back of the room, you can find some kind of weird substance all over the chairs and walls. I quickly dismissed this, thinking it was only rust and nothing out of the ordinary. But wait, this substance doesn't even really look like rust, and it's also not just on metal, it's all over the cushions too. So if it's not rust, then what is it? It's clay, hear me out. We know Clayface used to be an actor, as referenced in many of his easter eggs throughout the Arkham series. This would mean he's obviously very familiar with Panessa Studios if he used to film movies here. Not only is he familiar with the area, but the movie studios is also abandoned, making it a great place to lie low, right? But wait, it gets even better, because not only does the game have concept art that literally shows Clayface in Panessa Studios, but there's also a docked boat just outside the room that looks extremely similar to the ones from Arkham City. So imagine this. At the very end of Arkham City, Clayface was obviously knocked inside of the Lazarus Pit. Instead of the liquid preventing him from taking form, the Lazarus' extreme healing powers were actually able to heal Clayface from both the explosion and the damage Batman had inflicted on him, giving him just enough strength to eventually climb out on his own. After pulling himself out, Clayface was able to find one of the many ships scattered around Arkham City, which he then used to escape. After taking the ship and leaving Arkham City behind, Clayface needed some place where he could lie low and recuperate, so he set sail to the only safe place he knew, the abandoned movie studios on the outskirts of Gotham City. Once he arrived, Clayface docked his boat and was able to forcibly open a back room completely out of sight which would make a great hideout for him at the moment. He could have spent days, weeks, or even months here, we don't know, but once he was ready to leave, he tried to clean up all the clay that had dripped off of him in order to cover his tracks and leave without a trace. However, a trace was left, because he had stained parts of the room with his clay like the chairs and walls, confirming his presence and proving that he's currently somewhere in Gotham, alive and well, planning his revenge on Batman. 
Now look, this substance all over the room could very well not be clay. In fact, if I had to, I'd probably bet that it was some sort of design to make the objects appear old, especially considering that you can find really similar textures all across the map. Now with all that said, I still believe that this theory is definitely possible even if it isn't clay in the room. I mean look at the other evidence, starting with the door. This door was clearly opened with brute strength considering all the damage done to it, and other than Clayface, there's not a lot of people that are capable of physically breaking open a door of this size. Now combine that evidence with Clayface's concept art, his whole background with Panessa Studios, and of course the abandoned boat that looks just like the ones from Arkham City, and you've got yourself a theory that's definitely within reach. However, I still think that the Zaz theory is much more likely, and I'll be completely breaking that down in my next video.